So to start off, can you tell me a bit about how you got involved with Tell High and this mural project in particular? Um, yeah, so I got involved with Tell High. It was my first job moving back to the Bay Area. Um, I had a son about three years ago, so we went back to my hometown to raise him a little bit, and then I came back out here, and uh, I was doing art teaching in my hometown, and I found this job. Um, it's an art teacher, you know, working with the elementary school students at first, and then uh, now I work with the high school students, and um, I just really, really appreciate this place for being able to look out for each age range and uh, every, every ethnicity, you know, every background and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how I found, it, found myself here. Awesome. And so can you tell me a little bit more about the art you do? Um, if you do any art on the side uh, other than teaching and what motivates you to create? Um, yeah, so I do a lot of art for people. My friends do a lot of music, so they're always asking me for art for their songs, for their albums. Uh, have a few, I've done a few book uh, book covers. Um, I like to do portraits of families and I like to incorporate like whatever they like into the portrait, you know? So if they like whatever style of things that they like, I like to incorporate that into a family portrait style. And uh, I like to do, I kind of don't like to do it, but I still do it, uh, logos and stuff like that. A lot, of, a lot of work is graphic these days. So, you know, I, I, I do that as well. But uh, my favorite, favorite artwork to do is, um, portraits, family portraits and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. and what would you say uh, motivates you as an artist? Like what, what is your, how do you find purpose in art? Yeah, what motivates me as an artist is uh, just the sense of community and excitement it brings for everybody as you can see. You know, everybody gets, uh, it, it makes something out of nothing kind of too for you to see a blank wall turn into something that people want to stare at. And uh, just to get people something excited about and uh, something to smile about, you know, the, the fact that it makes people happy and the fact that people appreciate it is, uh, you know, makes me happy and appreciate it as well. So, yeah. And so as one of the lead artists and kind of overseeing this mural project, how would you say that this sense of purpose and your value and the values of community, um, how has that uh, been incorporated into this mural here? Yeah, so we've been real adamant about trying to get each age range, each age group involved in the project. And uh, that, that was important for everybody, you know, to, um, to have the little ones and the, the elementaries and the middle schoolers and the high school. You just get all ages involved. It is, and it's it's kind of the theme of Tell High, you know, all ages, all cultures included. So, yeah, we tried to put a little bit of, a little bit of something for everyone into the mural. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that was. And, and watching the kids and, you know, every age range who has either passed by the mural to look at it or been actively painting on it, um, what would you say has been the most rewarding moment um, when you see how they approach the mural project or art itself? Uh, the most rewarding part for sure for me is uh, the excitement and just the camaraderie. You know, you'll see like, you'll see something kind of turn like messy turn beautiful you know or something rough will become smooth or you know just the the process of, of the evolution of it and uh, just to see how cohesive you know a group of people that used to be strangers come together to make something that looks cohesive and yeah just yeah the team camaraderie it makes me excited and I think that's what's happening a lot here so and so in relation to that sense of growth and camaraderie as you mentioned it um, what do you hope that these kids and everyone uh, who's been involved will take away uh, from this project and um, what future experiences with art uh, do you hope they'll have moving forward after this project? Um, yeah, I just want them to remain excited to create stuff and uh, I want them to appreciate, you know, just to appreciate themselves, their own creations, and to appreciate the creations and works of others. And, to be excited to make stuff, you know, and uh, to know that they can do that. They can, they're confident that they can build something based off of that. That's what they like, so, yeah. And so to continue talking about community, uh, as you said, what, why, what would you say is the importance of community art? Uh, the importance of community art is just to bring the community together, first and foremost, and then just so you can see the viewpoint of, um, you know, things that people like. Uh, you can see, what's up, how you doing? 
yeah, just to get people involved, you know, and uh, you just people, you can see what the community is all about through what they like, you know, they put on the wall, and you can see what's important to them, and uh, you get a sense, you can understand more, you know, and once you be, once you can understand something, you kind of feel like you can be more a part of it, you know, so I think it's, it's, it's all about inclusion, and it's all about making people feel welcome, and, and, and yeah. And so, you mentioned earlier that you used to be an art teacher. Um, how would you say that this experience has been different from that? Or have you have you learned anything from being, for helping lead this mural project? Yeah, just there's a lot of moving parts and um, a lot of, like, the pre-planning is equally as important as the actual execution, you know? And uh, uh, my, my teaching experience with art has been like, not on such a, all one piece. Everybody kind of walks out of it with their own thing. Not everybody kind of walks out of it with like one one unified thing. So it's important to keep everybody kind of on the same page, you know, and uh, have a pre pre existing plan, you know. Uh, and communication is important as well, you know, and being flexible, you know, because things can change. And it's always always important to be flexible and uh, adapting to the situation. As you know, unforeseen circumstances can can cause you know little disruptions here and there, obviously, but. Yeah, pre pre planning. And then I think the last question I have is, what are you most excited for in the development of the mural? Uh, just to see it done, you know, and uh, just just the entire process has been fun for me in general. Just to every Wednesday, people are kind of excited to come here and paint, and uh, I'm just I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out, and uh, and just to be able to have people like look at it when they walk by and like find little things to make them smile, find things that are. Be like, oh yeah, I, I, I helped with this part, or I can relate to that part, makes them laugh and stuff. Just to see how people 